Okay, so what's going on, dreamers, and welcome back to uh, AFK Arena, AFK Journey. I don't know why I said why I almost said the other one, but you know, whatever. So I need to get to uh, my destination. So boop. don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe so we can reach thirty-five subscribers. And here we go. My child, you must remember your mission. Oh, cool, that an artifact. Oh, nice. Sweet. And a puzzle piece. New journey. What? Artifacts. Activate the artifact. Cool. Increase my own power, why don't I? <laughs> oh my god, what? <laughs> I move for battle right now. I guess I have to go into battle for some reason, okay. Whatever. Guess just to test it out, huh? Whatever. I just do it. I don't care. Silence. Well, at least I don't have to do it manually. That's a good thing. And I'm sorry for all the little uh. What is the next quest? Key. Buttons here, and then I can do about them. Yeah, I did it. All right, you gotta get to one of them. Did you hear about the wheat fields being acquired? I heard the wheat fields in Northville will soon be acquired by Lord Franz. It won't be long before Northville is growing those expensive grapes, just like Southville. What? Wasn't the <laughs> North and South. Of Ryan opposed to growing grapes? Did he back down in the end? Probably. He had no choice. Mm -hmm. You've seen how rich the people in Southville have gotten these past couple of years. It's all because <laughs> of the grapes. Everyone in Northville was green with envy. Who doesn't want to be rich? The old chief couldn't hold back to see a change. <laughs> Dura above. If there are grapes to the south and grapes to the north, Ryham should just change his name to Grapeville. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> All right, on to the next one. Mm -hmm. Thank you for considering my lady. However, she said that if she needed anything, she would instruct us on what to do, rather than trouble you. Well, she does not need to be so polite. The lady has come a long <laughs> way, and it is my duty to be hospitable to guests. Hospitable. Should she have time today, might I be fortunate enough to meet her? I have prepared a rare gift for her. Lord Francer. I'm afraid my lady is terribly busy today, and really cannot see you. Please, return another day. Mm. Lord Franz does not seem to be in a great mood today, I see. I heard General Hogan mention that a noblewoman lives in this house, and that she has come from the capital. Oh. And where did this bottom feeder come from? 
talking about me behind my back. Be gone. <laughs> <laughs> and nice to meet you, Lord France. You're different from what I imagined. <laughs> I heard you were so rich and swanky that even the fountain on your estate was made of gold. I imagined you'd look like a fine gold bar. Impertinent scoundrel! No wonder your mouth emits such dross when base wretches like you grow up eating only filth. <laughs> fine, fine. I might well be a base wretch, but that can't be said of her. What do you think, Magister? <sighs> you look like you're barely half trained. Don't call yourself a Magister when you only know a few spells. <laughs> I wager you never attended the Serene Lyceum. Am I right? Hmm. The Magister didn't really study that much there. See? I thought as much. Peasants like you don't belong in a place like that. You've misunderstood, Lord Cocky High Butt. The Magister <laughs> didn't study at the Lyceum because she was teaching there. I mean, there's only one freaking answer, so I don't really need to. Yes! You journaled about that part of your life, and you allowed me to read those entries. What a bunch of tedious liars! Enough! I have an important client <laughs> to meet and can spare no time to argue with the likes of you. Furthermore, I hate rodents, particularly when they scurry around my property. You'd best not let me catch you around Ryham. That region falls under my jurisdiction. He certainly wasn't humble. He's essentially saying that Ryham belongs to him. Oh However, god, jeez, thanks. It doesn't look like he was exaggerating. Lord France does control most of Ryham, especially the southern part. You look a bit okay. lost. Okay. Allow me to explain. Ryham is built okay. along the Tranquil River, which divides the region in half, north and south. Two years okay. ago, Southville heated Lord Franz and dug up its wheat fields to plant grapes instead. <laughs> they made a lot of money, and nowadays many villagers regard him as the symbol and source of their wealth. I don't need to. They say what happened to those grapes? Variety, gem vine. In all of Asperia, it only grows in Ryham and is so rare that it can't be bought anywhere else on the market. Oh, wow. To expand production, Lord Franz has lobbied the Northville villagers to swap from growing wheat to gem vine grapes. Mm. It doesn't feel right. No, it does not. This intuition, then? Southville is not that far, so we could go have a look around. Yeah, I bet we well, could. We should probably talk with General Hogan before we go. He's waiting for us near the plaza. Mm hmm Sure. I gotta increase my tavern skill here. So, boop. don't need to see it every time. <laughs> I got two of the same. Oh my god, okay. Do it again. Ah, okay, so now we got him now. Let's do another one. I mean, because that's the whole part of this game, really, is the, uh, ooh, gold. What's the matter? Perhaps my companion may assist. There we go. He's the gold. Yep, and I got another her. Okay. All right. Got new people. The star sparkle ever wow, she had three. <laughs> cool. Let's 
far and see who so did you keep training to keep growing cool okay equipment that would be this one mm -hmm. all right Magical house, what do you want? Is that still the male thing? Yeah. Now we can go do our thing. Close this to the target. Heck yeah. But running all the way over there would be boring. <laughs> Mary, I'm so glad you're safe. I heard about oh, I bet you are. last night. I was so worried. Mm -hmm. Eddie, I saw everything. When the fire broke out, there was a mage in the village. She was standing in my wheat field. She waved her hand and just vanished. After which the field just burst into flames. What? Are you saying you saw the culprit? Mary, take a deep breath and see if you can remember what she looked like. Okay. She had red hair down to her mid back. She was also wearing a hat with a long feather in it and a black dress with gold stripes. Oh wow, that's a very descriptive order. Very descriptive. Listening to that description, it seems like the culprit has to be Muriel. She has red hair and wears a hat and a dress. Mm hmm. Do you remember what Scarlet Sorceress looks like? I think she was different from the woman's description. Uh, the hair is different now. The hat is different now. The skirt is different. Hmm. Muriel was wearing a plain black skirt. There weren't any gold stripes on it. This is an important piece of information. Before the fire, Mages other than Muriel may have been in the village. Okay. We need to tell this to General Hogan immediately. Yeah, I don't think it was the hair. Though. It could have been the hat. It could have been. I'm not fully sure. But anyways. Yeah. yeah. All right, finally made it to General Hogan. Serious? Uh, what happened? Uh... I heard that Lord Franz has always wanted to grow grapes in Northville uh, to yeah, increase I bet he production. Did. In short, the intel suggests that the culprit is probably someone other than the Scarlet Sorceress. But she's still a suspect. And who knows if the other red-headed mage is her accomplice. We'll have to keep investigating. Okay. Ah, we haven't even solved the issue of the changing weather. But here comes more problems. <laughs> this case is related to magic, which Valen does not excel at. I'm going to ask you for your help. Are you willing to aid us? I'll let her know that you said that. <laughs> Thanks for your help. Have you figured out what your next move is? We ought to look around Southville. Before identifying okay. the culprit, we should learn more about the grape variety known as Gemvine. We bumped into Lord Franz just now, and he wasn't particularly friendly. What if, yeah. <laughs> hypothetically, my sword falls out of its scabbard, completely by accident, mind you, and skewers his foot? You'd protect me, right? Please keep an eye on him. I'm afraid he's going to get into trouble. Then it's all up to you. May Jura above watch over you. Okay. I am. Oh, cool, I can work there. Nice.
That's sweet. I can warp there. <laughs> I like that. All right. Yeah, I get it. Okay. Mm. I still need another. Come to protect. Got it. I was just missing one more, that's all. Silence. Done. Well, victory is deserved. Oh, they put the uh, people that I have that were battling on the screen. That's cool. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. Do that. What a coincidence, Master Rowan. Fancy meeting you here. Yeah, I bet it is. Northville, the guy from the heroic order and the mage. A pleasure to meet you. I'm Rowan of the Mithril Consortium. We okay. had a chance for introductions earlier. Thanks mm -hmm. for helping with the wind elemental. Otherwise, it wouldn't just be my goods that were lost, but my life. <laughs> goods. Northville's rich in wheat. That's where Ryham got its name. I went out of my way to Northville to buy three carts of the best wheat, but it all got burned by the Scarlet Sorceress. Mm. My whole business venture has been upended. Mm. And now this bridge is causing me trouble. I'm trying to figure out what to do next. Yeah, I bet you are. I heard that Southville's gem vine grapes are worth their weight in gold, so I wanted to check them out. But the bridge is up, and no one can get across. It looks like someone deliberately yeah. sabotaged the mechanism. The lever's broken. Could be bandits who did this, or it could be someone else. Mm -hmm. Anyway, how much do you know about machinery? Seems like the all-knowing Magister has finally met her match. I know a little. The Mithril Consortium handled loads of machinery orders, but we don't currently have any spare parts. Of course not. To replace not. a broken lever, we need a wooden stick of a specific hardness and durability. We'll also need a lubricant. Oh, in an emergency, I know that the juice of glowfly fruit can be used as a lubricant. Okay. All right. Brooklyn's often hoard glowfly fruit near the camp. Glowfly fruit has that sweet and sour flavor. So good when you can find it. Grucklins, mm -hmm. yes. The long sticks they carry could be used as a lever. We'd be killing two birds with one stone. <laughs> there's nothing to negotiate. I need to cross the bridge too. And there's no way I can deal with those Grucklins by myself. That's so true. Let's work together to collect the materials. Then I'll repair the mechanism and everyone's happy. What do you think? Sure. A win -win. There's no time to waste. Quick! Let's go find a Gruglin's club and some ripe glowfly fruit.
Wait. Gotta fight. Gotta fight. Gotta fight. Gotta fight. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's do it. Shouldn't be that difficult. Our victory. Oh, okay, so she gets the MVP. Okay. <laughs> okay, cool. Alright. I mean, this game is pretty cool. Mm, I just hate when that happens. No wonder you're General Hogan's friend. You both can hold it down in a fight. <laughs> if you weren't in the fight, both the villagers here and my salary would have suffered. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I would have run away. Or perhaps True. I would have shielded you until I fell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just joking. Let's go. We have things to do. Sure. Just joking. My bad. I didn't realize that was going to throw up. Okay. I guess we're going in the far one first. Okay. Mm hmm. Excuse me, everybody. I'm in the middle of going to the uh, some chests and stuff. Hmm. Gold chest like that. Very much. All right, let's keep going. Yep, let's go. Off to the next one. Okay, off to the next one. That was just far. There are grunglin camps everywhere. Seems like the harvest may not be safe. Even without the Scarlet Sorceress. Oh, you're not from around here. So perhaps you haven't heard the local legend. Yeah, I would I think not. It's said that the great Magister Merlin blessed this place. Or protected it or something. I don't really understand magic. So you're here buying goods because of a <laughs> legend? Relying on these legends or stories is actually an effective marketing strategy but yeah. that's not why i was there i just wanted to get some information on regions near hollowstone and see okay. if i can open up a new trade route the soil in ryham is particularly fertile its crops flour and bread are well known throughout the Lightbearer empire but I later see. i found out that the change in weather had reduced northville's wheat yields Difficult transportation in the region meant that Raiham wheat has become a luxury that only nobles can afford. So, oh. I wondered if I could expand the market and increase sales. However... That's right! That blasted Scarlet Sorceress! 
Calm yourself, Master Rowan. It's better than losing your life to bandits. That makes yeah. sense, I guess. That is true. <laughs> no need to look so glum. What are a few shipments of wheat compared to the massive fortune you have? I still remember when the heroic order came to clean things up, and you had the consortium send over wagons of swords as a thank you gift. That was completely different, Mr. Valen. The gift to the heroic order was to express my gratitude and cement our relationship. However small or great the value, it was totally reasonable. <laughs> That's right. Kindness, friendship, and favors are all well and good. But business is another matter entirely. Even yep. the smallest loss must be precisely recorded and analyzed. Speaking of which, the acquisition process in Northville was more unpleasant than expected. Yeah, I would assume so. Most were friendly, though a few of them needed an attitude adjustment. There are no laws <laughs> against price gouging, but it was less about selling goods and more like driving customers away. It was the same when the first fire broke out. A few of them just stood by the side of the road, and they didn't even try to help. Like it wasn't even their village. Strange indeed. The people of Northville are very united and care greatly for their fields and homes. They wouldn't be indifferent to anything that happens in the village. Never mind. I would they? Our priority is to gather materials right now. Everything else can wait until we're across the bridge. Okay. Keep it going, I guess. Okay, I think that's everything. I just gotta get to the uh, bridge area again. Because of the bridge, it was all too oh, yeah? easy to stop traffic between the two places. All you have to do is break the lever. I was able to repair it this time, but it'll be a problem for caravans in the future. Yes, a bridge that can be rendered uncrossable so easily, as well as an unsafe business environment. I need to reevaluate my business venture. Yes, you do. <laughs> that would be helpful. Let's go lower the bridge now. Let's cross the bridge now. Fifteen. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, should be able to get to it now. Mm -hmm. Oh, more than enough. I mean, I mean, there's no contest. It'd be easy. Everybody's at level fifty, basically, so it shouldn't be that difficult. <laughs> Shouldn't be hard at all. Sweet. Alright. Oh. Okay. Don't care. New area unlocked. Cool. Right on to the next piece. Right here. Which one are we going first? A mage wearing a hat. 
with a family through the sewer grates. A tattered mm -hmm. robe he never washes, but he's always eating grapes. Okay, are we rhyming now? Ding, 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 this ain't so swell. His lordship beat him, made him yell. Okay. Next. Oh. With everything that's been happening recently, can't you just be good and stay in the village? <laughs> no! Malcolm said the lake's frozen over. I have to go see it. You may not care, Grandpa, but I've never seen a frozen lake. You don't understand anything. That just means <laughs> it's cold. And what's so good about that? Those Northville folks refuse to listen to Lord Francis' advice. And even Merlin's magic can't protect them anymore. I forbid you from going to Northville. Okay. One more. Oh, that was the other guy right there. Okay. Angry man. Okay, it's not gonna go well. No, these baskets of gem vine are the wrong weight. I told you Lord Franz is personally coming to inspect the village. I won't be able to protect you if he finds that people are secretly eating and hiding the produce. <laughs> wow, okay. Lord Franz is coming himself. All gem vine grapes belong to Lord Franz. They're worth more than gold. Wait a minute. You're not Lord Franz's spy, are you? No. Exactly. Yeah, no, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Lord Franz's spies wouldn't just be wandering around the village doing nothing. That's true. <laughs> funny, if I, <laughs> funny if I actually said yeah, if I was. <laughs> but that would be very stupid of me to do. And I'm not going to do that. All right. I just want to continue the story just a little more before I sign off. Okay. Almost. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Just gotta stop at the, uh... <laughs> Just wanna get through that. You're okay, here. here we go. I hope there is no trouble on the road. No. I'm looking into the bandits around here. Did you everything was fine on your way? A couple. I chased. Them I know what that says. I thought they all retreated. Some of them must have slipped by me. Well, yeah. Here's the odd thing: the heroic order received several reports a week from Northville, mostly about bandits or gruglets. The villagers are mm. miserable. By comparison, the area around Southville isn't that much better than Northville, if not worse. But the heroic order never got any of their reports. Isn't that strange? Um, Around yeah, that's very strange. More aggressive, and bandits are more numerous. But no one reports anything. Either the Gruglins and bandits are so bad that they wiped out all of Southville's villagers and left no witnesses. Or... <laughs> Southville follows Lord Franz's orders. They dug up their wheat fields and planted grapes instead. Now their lives are peaceful. What a coincidence. Mm -hmm. Nobility all have their secrets. But Lord Franz's secrets seem just a bit more interesting. Yeah, Sorry they do. Sorry to interrupt, Mr. Balin, but can we go talk somewhere else? You do smell the horrible stench coming from the cave, don't you? Yes, I do, Miss Hammy. So, but wait. 
You don't mean that you want to go in there, do you? That cave smells so bad it could knock out a gang of Gruglins. My dear Miss <laughs> Hemi, I'm afraid you are right again. Everything points to this cave as the source of the stench and the whereabouts of the bandits. I've come this far already. I need to see it through. Sometimes yes, we it's do. better to rip off the bandits quickly. Come on, let's <laughs> hold our noses and march right in. Okay. Right. Okay, just... If Chippy and Valen are both going inside, then so can I. There's nothing I can't endure for the Magister. Alright. <laughs> mm. All right. Um, I think I'm gonna leave it at that. Um, I'll pick it up another time. But Let's see what else can I do here? Oh God. Okay. Yeah. Like I said, I'm gonna have to uh, call it here. I'll do the uh, leveling up thing on my own time. It'll. I'll be a higher level on the next time. So. All right. So that's gonna be uh, it for this one. Don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe so we can reach thirty. Five subscribers, that would be nice. And uh yeah. On that note. Bye.